but in the continent as a whole. Kenya is among three African countries selected to participate in a pilot project to test a new malaria vaccine. And as our resident health correspondent, Dr. Mercy Karir, now reports, the project will be implemented in Kenya, Ghana and Malawi from mid next year. As Africa marks this year's immunization week and malaria day, finally the world may have its very first effective vaccine against malaria. And Kenya was lucky to have been selected among the three countries in Africa to implement the project. The good news is that for the first time we now have a malaria vaccine that will start being deployed and used in some pilot implementation projects in Kenya, in Ghana and in Malawi. The vaccine, RTSS, has been developed to protect children from the most deadly form of malaria caused by Plasmodium falciparum. According to Dr. Mashidiso Moeti, the WHO Regional Director Africa, Africa still bears the greatest burden of malaria. In 2015, 13 of the 15 countries accounting for 80% of the estimated global cases of malaria we're in Africa. The malaria vaccine will be rolled out as a complementary malaria control tool in addition to other preventive measures like insecticide treated nets, indoor spraying and preventive medicines. The vaccine known as RTSS is the most advanced and has been shown to provide partial protection against the malaria parasite Plasmodium falciparum in young children. The injectable vaccine will be administered in four doses at five, six, and seven months of age, and the fourth dose at two years of age. It is expected that it will be incorporated into the current national immunization program. GSK, the pharmaceutical company that is developing the vaccine, will provide this free of charge for this pilot. The vaccine offers protection to four in 10 children from malaria. Experts say its side effects are not any different from other vaccines administered at this age. With every single vaccine or every single drug, that there are always side effects. And do we need to monitor them adequately? Yes. But uh, mothers and parents and countries should be reassured that this is a vaccine that has really undergone a very, very, very thorough evaluation process. The journey to this malaria vaccine may have been long, but it may now be at a home stretch. All eyes will be on Kenya, Ghana and Malawi to deliver a malaria vaccine that will change the course of malaria, the killer disease as we know it. Dr. Masikorir, KTN News.